Hello YouTube. Today we are going to go over how to remove uh, dark circles under eyes in Photoshop. We're also going to uh, use the same technique that you would use to remove blemishes in Photoshop or scarring or acne or anything like that. So let's get into it. First off, the method we will be using today is dodge and burn. There's a lot of tutorials on dodge and burn, so I'll keep the setup pretty short and sweet. So basically, uh, for dodge and burn, what you have is you have uh, two curves layers. One is a burn layer and one is a dodge layer. And what that means is that the dodge layer is just going to have the curves brightened up just a little bit like this. And then the burn layer is going to be the opposite. And then if I paint on the burn layer, it slightly darkens everything down. If I paint on the dodge layer, it brightens everything up just a little bit. So I'm going to put my opacity at 100% and my flow at somewhere between 1% and 7%, depending on your skill level and uh, just how quick you are. So I'll probably leave it at like 2 or 3% for most of this. And then I'm going to go on my dodge layer and paint on the mask with white to reveal that layer. And I'm just going to slowly start painting the areas that are too dark. And we're going to even out the skin tones this way. So I'll paint here. And brighten all of this up. Brighten this up. And over here. And here. I'm pretty impatient, so I like to kick the flow way up. But I've also been using a drawing tablet for a while. So I'm pretty used to how it works. So we're just changing the size of our brush. We're painting with a really soft brush, by the way. And we're just going in here. We're just fixing the areas that are too dark. So you can do this with lines too. You can go in here, paint on these darker lines. Brighten them up a little bit. So let's look at the before and after so far. Okay, so we are already looking substantially better. I might duplicate my curves layer, or sorry, duplicate my whole dodge and curves setup again. Reset it and then start over. If we duplicate our background, get the clone stamp tool out, hit Alt to sample. I think I'm going to set this layer to lighten. I'm just trying to lighten up this area a little bit. Paint around here. You can sort of watch it. I mean, it's a really subtle process. It's kind of slow, but that's what makes it accurate. This is like a professional retouching technique and you'll get better at it as you go along. I'm actually pretty new to dodging and burning myself. So I'm not the world's greatest expert, but it's a pretty simple concept. And then of course you can do the same thing with the burn layer. So I can paint white on the burn layer to reveal it. And I can just darken down any areas that are too bright. In this photo, a lot of it is actually quite bright. It's like almost overexposed or reflective in some areas. So I'm going here, like 2% flow, and just darken this down. Just darkening down the areas that are unusually bright. So there's before and after on our burn layer. Let's look at before and after for all of it. Boom. So there's our before and there's our after. It's pretty crazy. Um, we didn't go super into depth in this. I just wanted to spend a few minutes working on this for you to show you the process. I mean, I would go back in with another layer and take care of this line right here. Um, and you can brighten up like this area, this area, 
and then you can also do global dodging and burning which is where you would burn like this side of the face this side of the face and like the edges and you would brighten up like the whole nose and stuff and it gives like a more high fashion sort of look but you get the idea if you don't sleep well you have really bad circles under your eyes one day and now you know how to fix your instagram selfies so thank you for watching this video if you found it helpful please subscribe and i will see you guys in the next video peace